Hey everybody, it's E again. Um, yeah, so now I'm 23. Woohoo. Um, I'm doing this because I just read something. Okay, if you don't know, I'm a big Sims, um, fan. Meaning, just the Sims game in general. Games in general. And I just read something by someone else who followed the game from the pretty much the beginning. And see... I followed the game pretty much from the beginning. Went Sims, the, the Sims, number one, the whole thing. I have, I own all of those Ascension packs. Not all the stuff packs, but all the Ascension packs for the first two Sims season, series. I, now I, now I'm going to own all the Sims series for Sims 3. So, Okay, but anyways, they're reading it, and someone's complaining about how they're not doing it justice. And at this time and period, right now, it's just like, what about money, people? Um, the people that can't afford high-tech computers to actually run, if they really did, if they re-re-did The Sims, and they made it for, let's say, super-powered computers like they have, no one would be able to afford it, first of all, and no one would have the computers to run it. Okay, some people have the money to buy a new computer every single year. Some of us are not that lucky. Some of us get a computer and we use it until it dies, literally. Um, that's me, right, right here. You see this person? That's me. I've had a computer, one of my computers I used to play The Sims on all the time. I had it for over... Let's see, 15, 16 years, and it still works. I mean, yeah, it doesn't, you, I can't play all the new games on it, but I can play all my old games on it. I mean, I'm kind of happy about that. And I have a computer that can run The Sims 3 right now, so I'm happy about that. But if they really went into detail and did everything right and took all the bugs out, it would cost more, first of all. And you would have to have a supercomputer to run it. No one, no one that buys this stuff, okay, I can't say no one, not all the Simmers have, have the money or any of that to actually afford the game or a new computer for the stupid game. I mean, if I could, I would buy a brand new computer, brand new one, a super fast, over juiced, powered computer and play The Sims on it. But I can't afford that. I don't have the money. And in a sense, my mom does. My mom and dad don't have the money. So, yeah, but I'm just, and I just realized, are we, are we, like, The Simmers, are we snobs? Are we going to yell at the people who give, who gave us The Sims? The, the Sims series. And complain about what they don't give us because they didn't give us what we wanted at the same time still buy the game or not buy the game because we don't like it anymore because they're not doing it justice and that goes back to what I was talking about before but it's at the same time it's like are we snobs? have we become game snobs in the sim world or sim the simmers world are we game snobs? Really? Are we going to tear down the company that gave us the Sims saying they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing? Because they're not giving us what we want right now in this extension pack? And I'm confused as like, why people want the exact same extension packs for each season series? Everybody wants seasons and pets. Yes, I want those too. But have you ever thought there could be possibilities outside of the last tension packs, the old uh, Sim series, that they could actually make it more different instead of the exact same thing every single time? Because the last two series had pets, had seasons, had dating or downtown 
and they're following the same mold in a sense. And going, oh, here, we'll give you the exact same thing we put. Yeah, it has better graphics and different, a little bit of different things, and it looks a little bit better. But we're just going to wrap the same ideas and package them in a new package. And then it's like, oh, yes, we're going to spend 50 bucks for the exact same thing. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. I mean, if, they were, if they're really going to do that, Really, I mean, I mean, I would like pets. I like pets. I really did. And they had Unleashed, uh, Sims 2 pets. And yes, someday they will have Sims 3 pets. Or Sims something pets. I understand that. But why? Why do we have to actually have the same things in the same order, literally, to make all of us happy? That's my question. I mean, I want something different. I want something amazing. And this new one is coming out, and this rant is about the new one, that they didn't do these amazing things with it. Right now, we're in a budget issue problem. And, okay, if everything got better, like all the money and all the situation got better with the economy, Maybe they could do better sim games, but at the same time, you're talking about people who actually have way too much money on their hands to afford really good running computers that can handle high, really nice stuff. And, but this is my opinion, but I just want to ask, do you, if you're simmers, if you love The Sims, you play The Sims, do you think we, the simmer group, have we become game snobs? Going, if you don't give us what we want, we're going to stop buying your products because you're not giving it, giving us what we want exactly right now? I mean, seriously, that's literally what this, um thing on the forums, the sim forums, was sounding like this lady was like going, I'm 30 now, I put thousands of dollars into into the sim, in a way, she's like, I own half the gov company because I put thousands of dollars, what about the rest of us that have, and not complaining about it, I mean, half of them, I don't have enough money to even buy these games, but I still get them. I mean, because I'm addicted and I bug my parents to death. But besides that, I mean, it just, that whole thing makes me feel like I'm a snob. Which I am really not. Okay, I act snobby, but that doesn't mean anything. But, I mean, I feel like, it just makes me feel all, you know? Like, I feel like it puts, it puts all the gamers. I mean, I don't agree with the letter all the way. I mean, some of it I agree with you. Yes, they can make a better product, but at the same time, you have to remember what's going on right now with money and all that stuff. So it's like, you have to remember what's going on in the world besides yourself is my whole point. So give me a comment if you're a gamer, uh, a, sim, a simmer, and a gamer a simmer and tell me if you think we're snobs or not I mean maybe some of us are but it, it just says it's a let it's an open I think it's called open letter to EA I think it is on the Sims 3 forum go and read the stupid thing I'm I'll give a link to it even um not in the thing but down the doobly pants thingy. I'm gonna call it the doobly pants. The doobly pants, okay peoples? Um sorry. Uh me back. But yeah, that's my whole thing. This is my first actual somewhat rant. So yeah. Okay. Bye